This conference will now be recorded. Audit management. We will see definition of audit management. We will understand what is audit management. Okay, components of SAP audit management, how the audit management works in SAP, and what are the different components. We will see that. Then we will see different audit objects. So to do to execute audit management in the SAP system, what are the objects we are going to use? What are the different objects we are going to use? We will cover that. Phases of auditing, different phases of auditing. We will see what are all those phases. Then planning of an audit, how the audit planning is done in SAP audit management. We will see that. Then execution of audit and audit, how the audit is executed in the SAP system. We will see that. And then we will see usage of audit monitor, how the audit monitor is used, audit evaluation. So these are the topics we will be covering in the in the audit management. Okay. So we will start with audit. We will first understand what is an audit. An audit is a systematic examination for determining, evaluating, and documenting the extent to which an object fulfills predefined criteria. So in the organizations, regularly they will audit a process, okay, a, a business process or or a particular object, whether it is fulfilling the predefined criteria, like what we are expecting. So like, let's say you are procuring a material from a vendor. So you do, they go for vendor audit, like every month or every after every six months or after every one year. Or let's say in the company, there is a safety department. The safety department, whether they have the, following the required procedures or not. So every year they will do the checks or let's say uh, they, they have the production process in the production process, whether they are following the predefined criteria. Okay, as per the requirements. So they will do these checks periodically. So that is called an audit. Audit. Okay, so we will continue. So an audit, as I just explained, an audit is a systematic examination that the company undertakes to determine to what extent an object meets pre previously specified criteria. So basically it's a systematic examination. Okay. So an audit according to DAN and ISO's 9000 standards is a systematic, independent and documented process used to obtain audit results and to evaluate these results to objectively in order to determine to what extent the criteria of the audit have been fulfilled. So basically it's a, it's a, it's a systematic method of uh, and, and documenting the process to obtain whether, whether the particular process or particular object is, is working as per our predefined criteria, okay? Audit criteria are generally formulated with the help of questions or questionnaires. This I will show it in the system. This I will show it in the system, okay? So in the SAP, so SAP has a solution for this audit management, audit management, SAP. SAP has come up with a solution for audit management. So here, basically the management of the auditing process is first you plan the audits, you plan the audits, then you execute the audit, you can execute the audit, okay? And you can monitor the corrective and preventive actions. If required any corrective action or preventive actions to be done, those can be monitored and you can evaluate the findings. So once the audit is completed, you can evaluate your audit results. So that end-to-end -end management of auditing process is, is available in SCP, okay? And also, management of the parts and partners involved. So who is going to manage those audits? To whom it is assigned? Whom has to be notified? Okay, what is the qualification of those auditors? All those things also can be handled through this SAP audit management solution. Okay, and document management. And also you can 
document all the audits and uh, you can record them whenever you whenever you want you can retrieve them okay and also you can get the audit reports okay so all these are also available in the system okay so let's move on so now we will understand the audit management functions so basically audit management in the sap system works in two two phases basically on a broader level one is you do the planning audit planning audit planning next one is audit execution audit execution so here in the planning phase in the planning phase you define audit plan you define an audit plan from the audit plan you define the audit you define the audit okay and then you will assign the question list to the audit you will assign the question list and after that you release the audit so you release the audit so that it can be executed okay now during the execution you will answer the questions and you will evaluate the questions and if any corrective actions or preventive actions are required you create them and you will follow up the final follow back so these are the activities in the execution phase so we will see all these things in the system how to execute all these things in the system end to end flow we will see it in the system okay so basically uh, the components in the sap audit management is you have a audit audit plan audit plan audit plan will contain a audit contains audits okay then this audit will be assigned with the questions or question list question list okay question list and then from the questions wherever required you will have a preventive or corrective actions okay so this is the basic components of audits one is audit plan audit plan i will explain all these things in the subsequent slides what is audit plan what is audit what is question list what is preventive action all those things so you have audit one is you have audit plan next one is audit okay another another component is question list question list next one is preventive and corrective actions so these are the components so these are hierarchically structured okay so first you have audit plan audit plan okay audit plan will contain audits it contains audit okay then the audits will be assigned with a questions or question list question or question list okay and these are assigned with if required these are assigned with corrective and preventive actions corrective and preventive preventive actions preventive actions so this is how it is structured basically so this audit plan also sometimes called as audit program audit program okay so audit management audit management so you have these objects components audit plan audit question or question list and corrective actions and preventive actions if required okay so let's move on so first we will understand what is audit plan okay so audit plan an audit plan is the planning instrument for the administration of audit it is the main planning instrument to ma to manage your audits to manage your audits the audit plan consists of all audits planned for a particular period of time okay so basically in the audit plan you will have audits for example all audits that are to be executed in the space of one year are defined in an annual audit plan let's say you want to do audits for a particular year all the audits executed in that particular year are assigned to a particular audit plan okay in the navigation area audit plans are indicated by this icon this icon okay i'll show you this in the system in a minute the audit plan is structured hierarchically okay this means that other audit plans as well as the audits themselves can be assigned to an audit plan note that 
an audit is the lowest level of of the hierarchy okay so basically you 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 use audit plan to manage your all audits in a hierarchical or in a structured way okay so so this is the one so you have the audit plan audit plan for the audit plan you will have the audits instead you will have audits okay so now let us go to the system let me show you this So to go to the audit uh, management, open logistics, open audit, open quality management. Okay, go to audit management, open this, here you have PLMD underscore audit. This is the T code. Okay, so double click. Okay, you will get this screen. I will explain you the uh, uh, structure of this audit management cockpit in a minute. So to see audit, to already see, see the existing audit you need to click on this button open audit component click on this button you will get this dialog box so what i will do i will just see the one of the existing audit plan okay so let me search audit plan so just click on the button start search okay so you have here some audit plans so suppose let me take this one 2010 audit plan take this continue okay now, if you see here, this is the audit plan. Audit plan will have this symbol. The moment I move the, my cursor to the audit uh, on the audit plan symbol, so this is the audit plan. So now under the audit plan, you will have the audits and you can assign another audit plan also to the audit plan. That is also possible. Okay, so this is how you can see the audit plan. Okay, it will have this symbol. Okay, so we will, we will this is the already existing audit plan in the system so now uh, after some time we will be creating a new audit plan okay we will create a fresh new audit plan we will create 